Yeah, this deck has a really cool story. This was played to the number one spot on the infinite leaderboard by a free-to-play player. As you can see, this is not an expensive deck. It's not full of Series 4 and Series 5 cards. It's just Mobius and Nebula in here, both of which aren't totally fundamental to this deck's game plan. So although the deck may get a little worse if you replace them, they do feel replaceable without breaking the foundations of this deck. So, you know, throw in an Iceman and whatever your tempo two drop of choice might be a Jeff if you have it. Maybe a Lizard or a Silk or something is fine too. Maybe even a Shocker to play towards the uh, Patriot side of this. And although the deck gets a little worse, it doesn't fall apart. And to see that you can get that high with just a couple select Series 4 and Series 5 cards, that's kind of hopeful, number one. That's cool to see, but also showcases that with skilled play, some dedication and discipline, I'm sure, uh, a lot is possible with a little bit when it comes to a collection. Not to mention, this is an archetype that's just been around so long and I don't think is especially difficult to play either that this will probably prove a really good option for a lot of people who are climbing on at least a little bit of a budget. So of course, I wanted to give this deck a try and see how it does. And thankfully, it's still got some really fun cards too, like Rogue, stealing stuff from your opponent, Agent Coulson making random cards. I don't even know how this makes the cut in this deck, but it's really cool that it does because it adds a little edge of chaos that I love. So a deck that's uh, really powerful and at least a little bit of fun too. That's a great bonus. And uh, we're going to see some of that in action now. Oh, Lamentus won, but we got, <laughs> dude, dude, the poor opponent, dude. We got like the actual dream, dude. <laughs> We just cruise, man. We don't even care, man. We just absolutely cruise. Invisible Woman, Patriot, Blue Marvel, Ultron. This is this is gross. I mean, if we have any chance to win, Central Park, although kind of disruptive, maybe not actually all that disruptive. I think we'll just put Blue Marvel like mid or something. Probably still go Patriot, Ultron here. We could actually even play the Killmonger as well, just to clear out space. The weird thing is the Killmonger is worth less than a drone. I mean, the drone's going to gain plus three or be four power. Same for a squirrel, I mean. Um, the one difference is the opponent could clear the squirrels early, and I can guarantee the Ultrons go off late. So maybe that's a little bit better. And I also don't want to show my hand too much. I, I think we will Killmonger here. Patriot on four, Blue Marvel on five, Ultron on six. Just kind of remove some variables. The one thing it would help is if the opponent happens to have death in their deck, I guess. That could be a little bit of a risk, but I like reducing the number of variables on board. It's like if they played a Killmonger before my Invisible Woman, I'd be losing a card basically from each spot, which would be tough. By the way, I think it would have been very reasonable to snap on turn one. I should say that. I definitely don't want to because I think this could be a very fun game for the video. The opponent is literally doing nothing. What? <laughs> What's going to happen? MODOK into what? Just MODOK and Morbius only. And Wolverine? Okay, that's actually pretty legit. I guess they didn't have a lot of stuff to pay off except the Morbius Bodox. That actually is pretty legit. Yeah, I mean, thankfully this combo is just insane to get to in hand on Lamentus. It's so nuts. Um, just a, a, a chill what, like 30 power revealed on the final turn. Maybe even more really, I guess, huh? Yeah. All right, Nebula, go get him. That's fine. Dream Dimension may help, who knows? Maybe not. Uh... <gasps> Oh, I would say generally we're pretty good with Ego. By the way, we got to snap Ego. I hope the opponent plays along. People care about their ranks now. Sadly, though, so they might not. But it's just a rule of the universe. You have to snap on Ego, man. I think our deck's decent too, though, so we're not at too much risk here. <gasps> they didn't leave. That's at least a good sign. Okay. Are we... Which one's a real Mysterio? I don't even know. This one? Not that it matters. We're playing this out no matter what. Oh no, Medusa Ego, dude. What have you done? Ultron's really good with Xandar too. We can like make sure we fill it up. Now that said, it may not play Ultron, so we have to be careful here. Uh, Shadow King's fine. Blue Marvel's really good. Shang-Chi is kind of the, the only risky card in hand right now because, you know, it doesn't really do much. 
that said if they play it on four we won't even have a play on turn five right now although we're guaranteed to draw one i guess oh shauna's insane in an ego game dude zero is risky and titania is risky though rogue is fine that gives me a play maybe even two plays next turn not good but at least she's going in the right spot sunspot's really good for an ego game too the opponent is not in a bad position nebula is probably technically a little better for now but they played it in the right spot for that nebula that's good so don't play shang chi play uh ooh, killmonger's kind of insane but also kills my nebula so it just depends right it depends on the titania it just depends i don't know What's it gonna play the final turn? It matters so much. Oh my god, Jeff. Okay, we're sending the Titania back. I'm fine with that. This sunspot, like I said, is so good. What's it gonna play? <gasps> oh god! I don't, I don't know, man. The problem is I'm losing left like this guaranteed, like three to four. It's it's it. This seems worse to me. I really wanted Ultron or Blue Marvel. Killmonger was probably the worst play. I mean, it's kind of fun because of the Shauna, but it's just not good enough. I don't think anyway, unless that's a one drop. No! He's the no, I'm sending the Titania back, but she gets deleted anyway, so it doesn't matter. I lose, dude. This game was so freaking close, dude. This game was so freaking close, dude. No! I'm losing by one point, by two points, and by two points. Gamora is such an insane card to have here, by the way. Shauna's really good. Dang, dude. They got punished for not snapping. I would have stuck it out at eight, man. I would have stuck it out. I don't, would an Ultron have been enough for us to win that game? Maybe it was going to be like Nebula would have been pretty good left. Ultron could kind of tank a spot too. Probably, probably always wins. Yeah. Okay, it's Jotunheim. Um, that's fine. We can kind of dump Jotunheim late thanks to our uh, Ultron, which is really nice. Uh, Mobius is fine. Luke's bar is kind of interesting. Uh, same thing. We can actually fill that if we find an Ultron on time, so that's okay. Opponent is going to fill it with a Mr. Sinister for now. They could just keep playing that Mr. Sinister and getting more and more power there, which, you know, if we do hit Patriot Ultron, it's not a problem, but just Blue Marvel Ultron's only going to... Well, I guess they might only be able to get six Sinister clones in that case. Whoa! Yeah, let's go ahead and show this. That's fine. I think we're going to just try to stay on curve on this. We don't need to do anything crazy fancy here. Opponent has snapped. They're excited about something. Thinker's Workshop might have given them like a better curve or something. Uh, Mysterio, by the way, remember, doesn't work on Luke's bar unless our hand happens to be full. Oh, I see. Forge, Mr. Sinister. Okay, so they're going big here. I like that. That's cool. So that's up to seven now. And they could get that to nine, which again, problematically for us, the Ultrons, I mean, with, with Patriot, I guess it's enough. So it's not maybe the other world. We could also just Shadow King this back. If we think they're gonna play that this turn in particular, if we wait till turn five, we're gonna have Captain Marvel problems. And uh, we don't want that. Okay, so probably Captain Marvel right and then Ultron left is gonna be the game plan. The Shadow King's weird because it doesn't actually do anything yet. It's it's really just an anticipation of an Ultron top deck, which which currently doesn't exist. Um, okay, so they didn't play the clone again. Oh, they played it here this time. That's pretty sneaky good. Uh, we can actually rip the Shadow King right again if we, if we think it's better than the Blue Marvel. I mean, currently the the an Ultron would still value what like uh, uh would still be twelve mid which is enough like patreon alone makes each of those three so yeah maybe, maybe shadow king is the right move here it fills us up here is the only problem i could go shadow king killmonger to make room if i want to clear out my nebula which feels a little counterintuitive but i'm not sure it's totally wrong it, it does give me a lot more leeway here um it's still gonna be really hard to win like this though to be honest it's still really tough they have this forge again is another problem. It's like, my God, this forge, dude. Oh, the debris we kind of dodged, nice. That's kind of a bonus, I guess. They were probably anticipating that, doing a lot of work. Um, so Shadow King resets those. Oh, they're, oh no, I made space two, no! I was gonna say they're full for a second there. Ultron? Oh, <gasps> I'm a god. I'm an actual god. Uh, no, this is always better here, right? Even though it loses four left, it's still a ton of power, so. 
Uh, it's like 8v7, and then this is way more power here, so yeah, this is fine. Oh my god, we're geniuses, dude. We're actual geniuses. Playing for those outs, man. You gotta play for outs sometimes, right? Pretty cool stuff. I don't know if the Shadow King was worth it, but it feels like it might have been. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot! No, we're okay, right? We're fine. It's gonna be 12. We're chill. Woo! Ah! <laughs> Scary, dude. <laughs> Scary, dude. Oh my god. Oh, we went left too, even. Oh my god. Yeah. Extra bonuses. Nice stuff, dude. Nice stuff. Let's go. Okay. Um, yeah. I think we can open with Mobius, right? It has some disruption potential to the opponent. Okay. Invisible Woman Ultron's always nice. Can hide our plans. Hopefully, you can hide them right because left and mid are a bit risky. Left impossible of course but mid risky uh all right titan's totally fine yeah this is this is fine dude if we could hit the turn four patriot we'd have kind of the dream four card set up here patriot blue marvel ultron that's that's of course a big hit that's that's some power stuff here forge into mr sinister man i've been seeing this uh forge sinister deck a lot today yeah sadly no uh patriot so blue marvel ultron is only like eight power mid right it's it's ultimately not super exciting um we could try to set up a rogue because the opponent might actually have their own kind of patriot type card this could be a place that it gets played it could also go mid because they're like i've got some big power here i'm gonna maybe put you know some small power uh with it so maybe you put the Patriot mid, which is a bit risky, but if we want to if we want to play all this on curve and stuff. Um, what we can do actually is, is maybe play Ultron here first, and then Patriot is of course worth more than Blue Marvel, so we don't have to commit the Blue Marvel now. Thanks to Titan, we can commit the, the Ultron first. I would love to see the opponent play a Patriot right. That would just make my day. They would never expect the Rogue, I don't think. <gasps> can it be? Oh, it's Elsa. Gross. It doesn't actually feel that much like a Patriot deck. So much is more of a Swarm deck, right? Here's an interesting dilemma, right? We actually didn't hit, uh, didn't hit Patriot. So if we want to play Blue Marvel, we're not going to get to play Shadow King. Like Shadow King here, for instance, is actually worth at least six power. There's also a question if, if Killmonger's worth more, because are they going to use one drops to fill this up are they going to use mysterio uh kind of hard to say thankfully with a killmonger we can actually still protect the ultron cards i mean you know we've got what 5 8 13 uh, 14 power here it's not going to be hard for the opponent to get more there if they went for uh the non-big mysterio they'd have 13 I mean, in a lot of ways, Blue Marvel might just be safer because it's more power here and we might be able to win more left. I don't know if this Nebula actually makes any... It's just worse than Ultron probably, right? More risk-induced. I don't know, man. This is interesting. I think left is where they're the least likely to have power, though. Oh, it's Doctor Doom. Okay. Um, I think we're going to be okay with the Blue Marvel, right? Yeah, the Blue Marvel was the right move after all. Okay. I mean, it's not exciting, right? It doesn't, it doesn't look it doesn't look spicy, but it did enough. It did enough. I don't think any Shadow King line would have worked here. The Doctor Doom. Um, I mean, technically, we would have reset that to five and these to three, but it's still, that's like 11 plus six, 17. We weren't even going to get close to that with just Ultron normally. With Patriot, it might have been a nice option, but as it stands let's just go for the big numbers you know yeah this is fine mobius is always good on two morag is a little weird for us i guess can't retreat after turn five i mean that might be nice Oh, do we steal the armor? That doesn't really seem to have a lot of advantage to us. I think Invisible Woman's totally fine here. Blue Marvel is good. Rogue, I don't know. Stealing, stealing the armor, you know, it's like, well, if they're gonna play like a Shuri or something there, you know, it doesn't really do anything. <laughs> they still have the Shuri, which it does look like this might be a Shuri deck, yeah. Rogue, unlikely to have any good ongoings to steal here. This Shang-Chi, uh, man, that could be very powerful later on turn six, as can Shadow King, actually in this deck as well 
for now maybe we just play the um mysterio for power here and then we we perhaps try to snipe the the, the shang chi left later but man that's actually just really hard to do we just don't have a lot of ways to add power there huh i don't know i don't actually also know how this mysterio works with morag oh it works fine okay that's good to know i was i was totally uncertain of that uh, man, if I could only turn off the armor while stealing it. If, if Rogue was an enchantress here, we'd be a lot happier, I think. Yeah, Blue Marvel into Ultron just does not feel like it wins this game. But I do wonder if maybe a Shadow King off the top with a Shang-Chi could win this game. That's perhaps a possibility. We can't retreat, so we're kind of... Uh... Ooh! That oh! Okay interesting um so, so maybe shadow king just has to go mid and shang chi has to go right uh why are these other oh, bombs maybe maybe uh what what five uh actually eight eleven and then this is actually two and three is five eight and eight is 16 it's still not enough it's it's just still not enough and i can't play shadow king and shang chi because that doesn't make any sense either yeah, it, it's just honestly, even though we have the right answers, this is still just not not going to be big enough. I, I wonder if even like an Ultron's better. Oh, wait, a Lyoth. How does that work? Oh, that just hits the Shang-Chi. Oh, wait, we're fine. Let's go. <laughs> I think the only reason we win is because of like the, the, they played an Eliot instead of like a, you know a Taskmaster or another big Red Skull or whatever. Eliot is just small enough that we just outpower it as is. I wonder if they thought the Eliot was gonna kill all the Invisible Woman cards, because that's kind of a weird place to put Eliot. Like, why not put the Eliot here and move the Vision here, sort of thing, you know? Which again, Shang Chi still wouldn't have beat <laughs> seven. I guess, I guess maybe actually would have tied. I, I kind of forgot about the Blue Marvel seven to seven. Maybe the tie would have been okay if we if we Shang Chi'd the Vision. It would have only been seven though, right? I don't know, man. Pretty crazy. I love seeing Goliath fail though. That always feels good. All right, Nebula left makes uh, some fine sense to me. If we think the opponent's gonna play left, we limit their spaces a little bit more, but you never really know. Nebula's kind of a toss up. You can always try to be sneaky somewhere else. You can try to be uh, most efficient left. See, now they only have three spaces to play to Nebula. So did we gain a little bit of it here? I don't know. Debate as old as time. Um, Tempo Shadow King to me does not seem worth it. By the way, Nebula mid, already punished. <laughs> I think we save the Shadow King in case they have a Collector in this deck. Seems like the kind of deck that could have Collector. Man, I've been seeing like a lot of weird Zoo decks today since we started playing this kind of zooey deck. Man, this this Killmonger is so insane. Um, <laughs> like we will absolutely toss out our Nebula for this Killmonger. Um, by the way, this Nebula and Killmonger combination is interesting. Um, it, it's it, in just a couple games, I've already felt a lot of friction there. I imagine there are scenarios where you just say, hey, it's worth it. I need the counter more than I need the uh, the nebula or vice versa. I need the nebula more than I need the counter. In this case, the counter seems like it's going to be way more valuable. Regardless, uh, Invisible Woman here, we'd probably want for like Ultron Patriot. So we can probably toss that for some tempo now. Rogue seems like it could be very good against something like a Kazar in this deck. Is this a bot? They're definitely going to be playing Patriot. So I guess the Rogue is going to be good for Patriot here, maybe um yeah let's just hide the patriot left that's fine man it's crazy because it looks like a lot of bot plays so far but i don't think so i think it's just patriot stuff k's r2 okay i really want to rogue on six which i can rogue killmonger on six that's kind of fine yeah um so i need to just kind of maybe play some power here weirdly um, like Kazar is kind of hard to beat from a power standpoint, but Nebula, Invisible Woman, Patriot, that's going to be like eight. Uh, well, actually Nebula's going away. So it's really only kind of four, but we can put the Killmonger here. Um, actually, do I even need, I, I guess there's a question. Do I even need the rogue if I'm going to be <laughs> like playing uh, Killmonger? Cause everything's going to get wiped out anyway. They only have four power left here. We can definitely beat that with just Killmonger. So this is probably fine. Onslaught. Okay, so yeah, it really is just kind of straight zoo stuff here. 
we have to imagine Killmonger does the job, but we, we could maybe... Well, I mean, stealing Kazar is not going to do anything. Stealing Onslaught's not going to do anything. Uh, I, I guess that makes the question here, is it better maybe to play this mid just for power? Like, does that two power make a difference? <laughs> if they play a Patriot here, it does technically buff the Sinister clone. It's not something I'm thinking about a lot though. Opponent is snapped. I'm gonna snap back here just because of the Killmonger. I don't think they're gonna anticipate the Killmonger. This rogue might just be distinctly better mid, honestly. I'm, I'm really just playing it for the two power because we think the Kazar Onslaught's turned off anyway because of the Killmonger, right? So we just don't know. Oh, Forge, uh-oh. Forge, yeah, and that's totally fine. Yeah, that doesn't matter. It's just Thor. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, we just went mid and left. That's all good. Uh, this, again, doesn't actually matter at all. They're gonna think, oh, that matters, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's all going away, I promise. Uh, Patriot for us does nothing. It's really just about the deletion here. Cool. Yeah, they really weren't anticipating the Killmonger, I don't think. Uh, obviously, they wouldn't have snapped, right? Uh, weird game, man. Thor, uh, Thor was generated by 13, so really just kind of a zoo. Maybe there's some Elsa in there. All right, uh, Nebula is, I mean, technically probably worse than Avengers Compound. Oh, I was gonna say the opponent may not want to play there, but they don't care. <laughs> it's Nightcrawler, doesn't matter. He can move. It's all good. Uh, yeah, Mysterio is, I think, fine actually to tempo in the stack. Not too big of a risk. Um, you know, the buffs from Patriot or whatever still happen later. It's all good. Bast. All right, this might be a C deck. Maybe not though. Maybe more bouncy. Move, move, bounce. Elsa stuff probably. Nightcrawler wouldn't show up in a C three deck anyway. Not too often anyway. Spider Man's really good actually because we didn't want to play Killmonger here. Do we go ahead and play Patriot now? Is one interesting question. We don't really expect a deck like this to have a counter to the Patriot. The only downside perhaps to the Patriot now is that. Um, it may be harder to find a good spot to play Ultron. Like maybe we just start pumping cards here. Turn five, we play hopefully Blue Marvel, but whatever. And then Ultron here too. It's probably okay. Can live with that. You you want your Ultron basically to be in the most full spot, presumably, usually, so that. Uh... Yeah, Coulson's chill as well. Oh wait, hold up. I got I got problems. Hold up. I I miscounted my turns here. Spider-Man's fine though. Uh, we want five and six on compound, so I gotta be careful. We want a top deck blue marvel here if we can. But but Spider-Man's chill. Spider-Man bouncing into the Angel Lane, I guess, would be well, never mind. <laughs> it would be ideal. Oh, we got Starlight Citadel too! Oh god! I didn't see it until literally right now. Dang it. I didn't see it. Uh oh god. Uh, okay. I mean, it's fine. It does kind of maybe mess up our Ultron math a little bit, but not always, because we can just play Ultron mid, too. Blue Marvel? Shang-Chi. Okay. Dude, Shang-Chi on the Angela could be crazy good. As can Shadow King. Like, are we actually going to just not play Ultron and instead going to play a Shadow King Shang-Chi turn? I mean, we don't need both, obviously. So maybe we get a four drop here. We like to go with a Shadow King. Shadow King's like so insane over here. Oh my God. I didn't even think about Shadow King Angela. It's so good though. Guess that's worth it. I just don't have a ton of power in play is the only concern. And Coulson's kind of iffy. Stegron. Oh, Rogue could be insane on that Iron Man. Oh my God. This game could get nuts. Give me Rogue one time. One time Rogue, please. There's the blue marble. I mean, we, we kind of assume Angela's gonna go, right? Um, unfortunately, the opponent does not have priority though. Shoot, dude, that sucks. How did I get priority? We suck. We actually suck so much. I, there's no way Ultron's big enough, so that's not the move. I think this is the move, but I also think it sucks since we got priority. This even hits the nebula, which, well, I guess she's dying anyway. So maybe that doesn't matter so much. I'm not putting any power here, which is just, that, that feels so wrong. I don't know, man. This doesn't seem right at all. 
This doesn't seem right at all. Bishop Mysterio. Okay. No Elsa type stuff going off. Like maybe they are just small enough here? Did I did I maybe not throw? Is that Mysterio real right? Don't tell me. No, it's left. Okay. We didn't throw. I don't think this game went smoothly by any means. Victory. But we deleted just enough stuff to make it work. I, I don't know. This was a weird game, dude. I don't think I had good lines this game at all. Sometimes just the deck gets there, though. You know, if the deck's working, if the deck's good, sometimes you can mess up and it still gets there for you. Ooh, Sakaar, don't screw me. I guess there's nothing that really screws me, though. I mean, even a Patriot that's revealed is not a big deal. Shang-Chi versus Shadow King, the tech card battle. Uh, neither of those were... Ooh, Raft. Um, yeah, man, we can go for Raft, I guess. Sure. Stuff's going to be invisible, but we can try. Oh, shame this wasn't a Mobius. Man, that'd be sick. Oh, dude. I I want to play the raft. He's just I, he's just too late. I don't think it's worth it right now. I, I'm I'm gonna just try to play to this. Uh, could also just steal the Zabu. Well, no, I can't. We're that's not gonna work, bro. Um, if I go now, I mean it's not crazy limiting. Mysterio still works, by the way, right? That that actually is a little bit less power, though. I mean, it's it's limiting, to be fair. Are they going to be able to play two cards this turn on four? It's not impossible, but you don't maybe expect it. I mean, I can add power still there with Blue Marvel. I'm going to do it. I think it's okay. I'm gonna. I, I don't want to lose this to them. I need to be able to go now. If I can steal it from them, number one. Oh, while normally that would suck. Since I've got Invisible Woman, it's actually not that bad. It's actually not that bad. It's a way... It, I lose six power. I mean, theoretically, the Mysterios are each worth a little extra thanks to the, um, you know, the, the, the Patriot that's going to reveal. But I also open up Space Mid. I reveal the Mobius, which is great for the Zabu. Um, I can still play this Blue Marvel. I think this is actually pretty chill. I think it's worth it. The, the invisible woman here is not fundamental to us. You know, it's not like some kind of combo-y thing. It's it's more about just um, hiding our, our assets. Can be kind of combo-y with Ultron, of course, but nothing breaks anyway is the, is the takeaway here. So Ultron is still definitely the number one top deck here. No question. Coulson sucks. <sighs> Um, I mean, yeah, the idea here is just to get big enough right. We, we'd kind of beat an Odin here, I guess, right? Odin here, though, would be insane, dude. This is like an on-reveal deck. Wow, Odin here is so insane. Oh, I shouldn't have played the Destroyer there. We're going to get beat by Odin, but I, it's my fault. I should have seen that. I didn't think about it till right now. The White Tiger kind of cued me in, unlike the Ironheart. So Odin left just if they do it, if they spot it. I mean, it's awesome. They're even literally... <laughs> hero portrait so they should get it it's it's cool I, i'm gonna give them the cubes for sure because that's awesome can i actually beat raft maybe with like colson here because this is actually a little oh it's only one bigger though because it's gaining power from patriot currently which it will lose so that's not really it's not really relevant no they did indeed go um go right here trying to outpower us which they probably will i don't think we're very big is that hurting us? No, that's not hurting us either. Are we big enough? Feel like oh, that is hurting us. Oh, God. Famous last words. Is that hurting us, bro? No, dude. That was a big swing. That was enough to win. They went uh, plus three here. And we went negative two here. So it was a five point swing and they win by four. That's crazy good. All right, Nebula, go get them. That's a good spot for you late game may maybe avoided there kiln is it worth a tempo shadow king on kiln i don't think so because we can play into that later with ultron and stuff and shadow king has so much potential upside i've actually been surprised how often with shadow king we've been playing him on six instead of like the ultrons and stuff of the world oh this is actually handy for me i like this this is better 
This is just way better. Strong guy never activates, but he's the biggest tempo play I have right now. And he's technically bigger than like, uh, you know, an Ultron drone, so I'll do it. Angela, really, even though this is closed off, only going for two power here. So this we actually win, this is fine. We'll just go blue Marvel Ultron and we're fine. I mean, you know, still risk of losing right, of course, but typically Ultron's, I think, gonna be the biggest card right. <sighs> Often some of the only big cards um, these decks can kind of muster are from uh, Angela. Like she's kind of the big one sometimes, you know? So eight is probably gonna be the highest. This is still enough to win mid, by the way. Uh, we go back to 14, which is chill. Pony feels confident. They may not be expecting the Ultron here. I don't know. It's not a dream Ultron. Maybe they have some answer, but they're revealing first. So I don't know what the answer would be. I guess a Lyeth is always an answer. Um, is Dr. Doom enough? That's a tie left. Do we win the tiebreaker? We do. Yeah, nine to three. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess I shouldn't say what the answer would be. It's a Lyeth, right? It's always, <laughs> it's always an answer, but um, yeah, dodging the Lyeth here. That's fine. Okay, Need of Valir is pretty sick for us. We could dump a ton of power there late. Patriot, Blue Marvel, Ultron, let's go. Why are you the way that you are? Do not fist bump Wolverine. <laughs> I fist bumped. <laughs> what a troll. What a troll of evil. They're gonna, they're gonna uh, slow roll me now because I fist bumped. <laughs> Yeah, Tempo Mysterio here is uh, not crazy, but but Mobius is probably a little bit better, yeah. Um, yeah, let's Mobius left. It's, it's a tad better for, for priority, which I guess we don't always want, to be fair. We kind of don't want priority sometimes. I'm so used to playing for priority in Eliath decks that it's my natural instinct. But in this particular case, not actually very correct. Um, we can play Patriot on four... We do want to play him though, so it's like this Coulson's kind of weird. We don't have the Ultron yet, so Patriot does... He kind of sucks until you see the Ultron, so I don't know. It's it's perhaps questionable. This could be a mirror match, by the way. Uh, This Rogue, weirdly, I mean, if we shut down a combo, it's great. If we don't shut down a combo, it's not great. Like, is this a Modoc deck? If it's like a Pager deck like ours, it actually doesn't do much. I might need to play it next turn because of Grand Central is the problem. So should I play it now? Kind of want them to like commit a Modoc first though. You know what I mean? Like, can I get them to Modoc me first? Just put a bunch of power over here for now. I don't know. Let's see. This, this card to the right might give us a bit of a clue. Morbius, okay, so I'm definitely thinking more Modoc, in which case Rogue probably makes a lot of sense. Nebula is actually a pretty good curve fill here. They hopefully reveal Modoc here and it messes them up. I mean, it may not, because it's like, well, if they want to play Modoc on five anyway, but in case they have weird Hella stuff, you never know. It's really only gonna mess them up if it's Hella stuff specifically. So let's see. Lady Sif. Infinite gone. Is this going to discard a uh, Hella? Let's go. Let's freaking go. Apoc still available though. So also we're like losing here. We gain a little bit off Mysterio and I'm hoping to gain a little bit off Blue Marvel as well. But my God, it's not strong, is it? <gasps> oh, this has to be better, right? Because now we can test mid, left and right still. I mean, left is really easily taken, but they only have one card because they, they discarded it. Well, no, that's not true. They have more than one card because it wasn't a Modoc. It was a Hell Cow. They have two cards, but they can probably only play the Chavez or something else, in which case we're probably fine here. This flips enough to, to, to pull it back. Yeah, Dracula hits the, hits the uh, Chavez, which is fine. 
Dude, the Colson coming in. Oh, it's not even a Chavez. The deck doesn't run Chavez. Okay. Cool. The randomly generated Shang-Chi from Colson coming in clutch, man. I was hoping for the blue Marvel just to get more power, but as we can see, it wouldn't have been enough, so. Um, yeah, go get him, Nebula. Sure. Nebula is... I'm, I'm not totally sold on the Nebula in this deck, by the way. It, it, it just... I don't know, man. It's, like, worse than the Ultron cards sometimes, than the drones. It's uh, killed by the Killmonger sometimes. Maybe that makes Killmonger a problem. I, yeah, I don't know, but... The whole thing seems a little shaky sometimes. She's gonna get buffed here. I mean, Nebula's a great card in general, right? Don't don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, like, I don't know, in this deck specifically. This is kind of cool because she's. Oh, I guess she's still not gonna be hidden behind Invisible Woman. But oh my god, dude, Dark Dimension. What the heck, bro? These are all moving over anyway. That's fine. So Medusa Agent Thirteen doesn't really tell us much. Some kind of. Bowie deck, maybe. I, I don't know. Hard to say. Shadow King will be kind of good there late. I think Colson here is fine. Just get some stuff to do, maybe. Don't really have a clear path forward here. Wait, what? That's how that works? <laughs> okay. I, I did not know that, but I'm chill with it. Honestly, that's fine. Um,. Yeah, I actually really like White Tiger into Ultron here. I, I don't know if the Ultron's gonna be big enough to win against all this stuff is the only thing. But I don't know, Nebula's getting bigger and then we're still gonna be really strong in the other spots. I guess I would maybe prefer White Tiger goes mid, but I can't, can't control that obviously. I'm fine with revealing the Patriot. It's not a big deal. Like we've talked about a lot, it, you know, this deck doesn't demand the invisible woman it just helps so is adding nine here gonna be enough we have a three point lead which is really kind of a five point lead so we're gonna have 14 did they play 14 points worth of stuff in those middle turns i doubt it it'd be pretty hard to play 14 points worth of stuff that that early into the game but i'm not gonna I, actually are we gonna tie that no we don't have blue marble oh that might be enough to win that it's gonna be plus uh plus plus three each yeah, let's go. I didn't actually expect to win there. That's really nice. The tiger spirit hitting where they put their power, thankfully. Oh, Electra's an enormous flip. Oh, but we still won. These were really tiny. Yeah, we didn't even need left, but we got it anyway. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay, I learned something too. I didn't actually realize unrevealed cards didn't move on Bifrost. Some things matter when they're revealed and some things don't. That's just, I don't know, the game decides.